We're in San Francisco continuing to try to figure out exactly what caused that home in the city's Sunset neighborhood to explode into flames yesterday morning, killing one person inside. KTVU Zach Sauce live outside the home. And Zach, uh, what are you learning this afternoon? Well, first of all, as you can see, not much of the home still left here. Fire investigators have spent much of the day removing truckloads of debris from the site. They say their investigation is still very much in its early stages, but something that has certainly caught neighbors' eye, caught firefighters' eye, large pressurized cylinders being removed from the site. Heavy equipment brought in today to help San Francisco fire investigators sift through the remains of a home on 22nd Avenue in the city's Sunset neighborhood after it exploded into flames Thursday morning. It's suspicious. Neighbors watching on as firefighters removed several large canisters and barrels from the home. There's no way it's a gas leak. I mean, not this kind of magnitude. The blast so powerful Thursday, it shook nearby homes, shattering windows and jamming doors. So far, the SFFD saying it's too early to conclude what caused the fire, but acknowledging. Everybody saw the tanks coming out of the house. This is definitely something that's unusual to see come out of an actual residential structure fire of any fire in any location. Little known right now about the three people who lived inside the home, but neighbors say they were renting the property, one of the renters unable to escape the flames. It's extremely hard on anybody. It's going to be extremely hard on the family, this community, but also the first responders. Neighbors describe seeing another person just barely able to make it out. I saw one woman run out just covered in soot um, and her clothes were shredded, just completely hanging off of her. Firefighters say that woman was severely injured and is still recovering in the hospital. For some neighbors, the explosion, an incredibly close call. I thought it was a bomb. Liz Wynn, who lives next door, waiting in her car outside. I just saw that house blow up and my windshield shattered because I was waiting for my daughter to walk out and she, I was very grateful that she took forever. And several of the homes here now red tagged. In fact, the woman you just heard from only recently able to get inside of her home to collect a, just a few of her belongings. Now, the investigation on site here expected to wrap up this evening, but they say it could still be several more weeks before they know exactly what caused this explosion. Live in San Francisco, Zach Soss, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Zach, I'm curious, was there any reaction by authorities in front of the home about the canisters removed? that potentially and allegedly started a hazmat situation down in Daly City and shut down BART. You know, they're, they're being fairly tight-lipped about that. I certainly did ask them that a number of times. Uh, several reporters have asked them that, and, you know, they really want to let this investigation work itself out. But they, again, did say that it was very unusual to find that many large pressurized canisters, barrels in a residential home, or for that matter, any, uh, uh, any site after a fire. And we still don't know what was inside those either. Okay, Zach Sauce live for us in San Francisco. Zach, thanks.